What we have here is three different oil pans to show you the many differences on a good, better, and best application basis that Moroso can offer you for a small block Chevy wet sump oil pan. Now, small block Chevy blocks are just not one size fits all. There's a wide variety of options that come in a small block, so you really need to take some time and make sure you know exactly what type of block it is. The differences commonly are one of two things, either driver side or passenger side dipstick and or the size of the rear main seal. From pre-1980 blocks, which are typically the most common, it's a two-piece rear main seal. Later blocks came with a one-piece rear main seal and a little bit wider at the rear where the rear seal goes on. So it's important to know this when ordering your oil pan to make sure that it'll fit on properly. Now what we have here is a 20180 core pan. This is the basic core that Moroso has built to our specifications. A little bit more squared off in the front, but it'll still fit most cross-member applications. And what this depth does is allow a little bit more clearance for the rotating assembly to the very front. This pan is very popular with stock eliminator and a lot of the dirt uh, racing oil pans that have a spec oil pan. The size of this gives a little bit more horsepower and it makes it available to also be able to put a bolt-in windage tray onto this and do some internal modifications if you choose to do so. Now this pan has no trap door but it has a simple baffle in here for deacceleration and it's a great basic pan for street strip if you choose to want to build up and put some stuff into it. Obviously you got the maximum clearance on the side for header and exhaust combinations. The next pan here is a 20191. Probably one of Moroso's most popular small block oil pans. This thing has been around forever and has done a very good job for us. Using the same core I just showed you here, we're able to put a screen and a scraper in it to help with a lot of windage control that occurs as you step up in oil pans. Typically your RPM range is starting to come up and making more power. This pan also has a Moroso T-sump on it, which allows for more capacity in the pan. Now both of these pans are at the standard eight and a quarter inch depth, and Moroso has a long list of oil pump and pickup combinations that'll fit into these, whether it's standard volume or high volume. This pan here also has a trap door inside for drag racing and street strip applications. Both of these pans come with drain plugs welded into them and pretty much ready to go with a one-piece gasket or a four-piece gasket. The last pan we can show you here is a full-out drag race pan, part number 21017. Now this pan is based off the same core, but as you can see, we've welded on a much larger squared off front sump. The reason for this is typically cross-member clearance is not an issue when you're putting a motor like this in a car also allows us to put in a fully louvered tray with partitions in it and allow for clearance front to back on the rotating assembly. Now a pan like this, a little bit more tighter in the back so we can control oil under acceleration and deacceleration. This pan will also accommodate a cast pump or our billet oil pump. Now this pan's little got a sump, it's a little bit farther forward because typically again cross member clearance is not an issue. And in this pan, we do have access for a universal dipstick because sometimes race blocks are not using the OEM dipstick and this tray doesn't allow access for the dipstick to go into. Got a drain plug on the side and this pan as you can see will accommodate both a driver side and a passenger side dipstick location on it by having ears on either side. And again all these Moroso pans will accept studs, nuts, two-piece, rear main, one piece rear main, and the different types of gaskets, whether the four piece or the one piece gasket that you want to use. And again, these combinations here, you know, depending on the type of rod combination, three, eight hundred stroke up to a four inch stroke is very possible in these. And as with any motor combination, you really got to put the pan on when the rotating assembly is being checked to make sure and checking for clearance, because there is a wide variety of things out there. But these will fit on any type of common small block Chevy block that's out there. If you have any questions, you can call Moroso's tech department or to go to moroso.com and see the full line of these pans and which type of blocks that they'll fit, along with all the accessories that go into making your small block oil pan be a good performer on your engine.